electron displacement effects and under this category what we have got is one is the term temporary and the other one the permanent effects so we have discussed and covered up permanent effects which further include first of all the inductive next is the resonance and the third one that is we have discussed in the last session hyperconjugation i'll be taking up a question related to hyperconjugation just to just to test your knowledge whether you have revised the concept or not but before that yes the next one is the temporary effects and what all is included in the temporary temporary effects include two effects that is first is the electromeric effect and inductomeric effect electromeric we will be discussing this effect very soon and inductive effect sorry not inductive but inductomeric inductomeric effect so all these three were permanent why because they are prevailing in the molecule whether the molecule is having an ideal position or it is having a certain kind of a reaction involved so the molecule is always be having these effects into them that is inductive electron withdrawing or releasing powers what is resonance resonance is basically the delocalization of the electrons to be very precise the pi electrons the lone pairs and the negative charges in the hyperconjugation what do i get i get even the sigma bonds involved in the conjugation or delocalization so i hope you all have got the idea why these effects are known as permanent effects here comes the turn of temporary effects what temporary effects are the molecule is itself not having these effects but whenever i provide a condition to them what will happen this very effect gets generated so that is how we are going to deal with the temporary effects but before moving on to the electromeric here's the question time for you so i've got a question related to hyperconjugation out of the two structures i have got one alkyl group attached and over here i have got cf3 so i've got two structures you have to tell me which one will be having most prominent electrophilic attack so out of the two which is having which one is having better electrophilic electrophilic attack so out of the two which one is the better one towards the electrophile which one will accept the electrophile very well so the one having higher electron charge density so we have discussed this particular case that is of toluene in this case this very case what happens due to the presence of this alkyl group over here what will happen there will be hyperconjugation and this will be having negative charges on to the ortho and para positions so here i have replaced h3 three hydrogens with three fluorines let me just make it properly so i have got three fluorines over here that means now what kind of a effect will that be so here i have got a very special term for you this is reverse hyperconjugation effect so that is reverse hyperconjugation so you must be wondering what actually reverse hyperconjugation is in reverse hyperconjugation 
instead of the donation effect it will be a withdrawing effect it is only prevailing in certain special kind of molecules groups like these cf3 we have already discussed a carbon is containing three fluorine atoms that means this particular group will be very very withdrawing because it has got three fluorine atoms that are very withdrawing so this instead of donating it will act as withdrawing group so this is this particular group over here is withdrawing group that means we have got the reverse hyperconjugation how does it take place so what will happen here is if i just make the structure like this so what will happen there will be an attractive force towards the cf3 molecule and we get something like this such kind of a process or mechanism will be taking place here in this molecule thereby what will be happening in the benzene itself so in the benzene the electron density will reduce so here since the electrons are getting attracted towards the cf3 molecule what will happen benzene will be electron deficient so over here the benzene will get electron deficient due to the presence of so much of withdrawing group i have got a withdrawing group and it is trying to reduce the electronic intensity into the benzene ring so what is happening actually here is positive charges will be created onto the ortho and para positions so instead of development of the negative charges we have got positive over here onto the ortho and para this will be unfavorable condition for the electrophilic attack so here if i name this as a and this as b so most favorable molecule for the electrophilic attack will be a greater than b why because over here the electron density will be very less so the electron density here is less due to the withdrawing group electron density in the benzene ring let me just specify it in benzene is less due to the withdrawing group present attached so that is it that is the answer for this particular question this is very very important so as i told you before you need to have certain idea about the nature of the kind of groups or the substituents which are attached that will change the entire scenario and in in particular your answer so your answer will get changed if you know very well about the nature of the groups attached this cf3 over here is very much withdrawing in fact this cf3 will be more withdrawing than the kind of cases that we have discussed like aldehydes even the carboxylic acids so these all groups were included as the withdrawing groups so cf3 here is even more withdrawing than these groups so i hope you are clear with the idea yes now the question says the order of stability of the following carbocations so what kind of carbocations we are given see here can you recognize this carbocation this is a lilac carbocation we have got so what do we have over here is the allylic carbocation that one is the allylic now if i move on to the number 2 carbocation what is this carbocation this is a general carbocation it could be primary secondary or tertiary so here it is nothing but the primary carbocation so this very carbocation is primary and let's move on to the third third part 
The third part has what kind of a carbocation? A very interesting kind of a carbocation that is, yes, we all are able to recognize this. This is the benzylic carbocation. So we have got benzylic carbocation. So the question says the order of the stability out of the three. So you can clearly see that out of the three, number one and number three, that means the allylic and the benzylic are nothing but the resonance stabilized. So what do we have over here? Allylic and the benzylic, these are nothing but a resonance stabilized. That means what? That means we have got the answer but not complete answer. Here allylic is also resonance stabilized, benzylic is. But this one is not. So this would be the least one option. We want to have the order of the stability. So the most stable and the least stable. We have got the least stable over here. This is least stable. So I hope you all are able to recognize this very type of carbocations. Now I have got second one as the least. So out of the four options, there is only the one. That means this very option has got the second as the least. So the answer would be D. But let us just discuss out of allylic and benzylic, what are which one is the most stable? So the benzylic and allylic I have got. Benzylic has been stabilized by the entire benzene ring. Whereas in the allylic I have got just one kind of resonance stabilization. That is what we have here. That will be the resonance stabilization over here. And in the case of benzylic what do I have? I have got the stabilization, resonance stabilization in the entire ring. Through the entire ring we have got. That is how it is going to be. That means number three the stable one, the most stable one is the benzylic, second one is allylic and finally the one with having no kind of resonance stabilization. So that is our answer. I hope you all are able to get this very well. So D is the option over here. So I hope you are through with the question. Let's move on to the next one. So what do I have over here? Let me just rub this off. Yes, again a stability kind of a question. Now it says that arrange the carbon ions. Now we have got carbon ions. So I need the arrangement of their stability and you need to have just focus upon the question the decreasing stability order. What all do we have? So let me just expand the options which are given over here. I have got a tertiary carbon carbon ion. That is how we get a tertiary carbon ion, the number one. And then the number two is CCL3 negative. That is how it is going to be. So in order to have the question right, particularly in GOC, you need to expand the structures first of all in order to actually check whether the stability is there or not. So that is how I hope you are all following up. So I've got the secondary. Here this was the tertiary carbon ion. I have got a secondary as well. So we already have discussed the stability of carbon ions. So we will be using that fact over here and the last one what do we have that is benzyl carbon ion not the carbocation but benzyl carbon ion we have got. So that is somehow like this. Now what is the answer here in this case? So I need the stability. I need the stability which is the most stable one first of all I need to judge that. So for that I need to expand it into a phenyl ring. Again what comes up? The resonance stabilization definitely. So that is a resonance. And what about this very option? Chlorine has got minus I effect. 
Cl has got minus I effect and I have got 3 chlorines over here, 3 Cl's. That means a booster of minus I effect. That means the chlorine is withdrawing the negative charge. So it is withdrawing the negative charge towards itself and what do we have over here? Here what do we have? It's a tertiary carbon ion that means instead of withdrawing groups what do I have? I've got releasing groups over here. So many releasing groups making the structure very very unstable. So that is unstable. <coughs> In fact the unstable most. And what do I have here? I have got two plus I effect showing groups. This is plus I effect. Let me just mention over here. And this as well. So here I have got three groups showing the plus I effect. Three. And over here I have got two groups showing the plus I effect. Now I need to have a stability. How to adjust the carbon ion stability in which the negative charge is dispersed very well or it is able to hold the negative charge. So basically how to judge the carbon ion stability? The one having the negative charge stabilization. So negative charge stabilization is the answer. So you must be thinking that the one having the resonance stabilization over here is the answer but it is not so. If you look over here in this case the three chlorines have got minus I effect that means they are electron withdrawing and what do you see over here just to be very careful while observing all the options the chlorine has got the d orbitals it has got let me just write it over here Cl has got empty d orbitals and whereas here if you see these are all carbons it has got only the p orbitals so it has got the p orbitals over here so in order to disperse the charge into the d orbitals will be a more dispersal, more good dispersal because d orbitals are always larger number whereas the p orbitals have got less number as well as a smaller size you can say. So the stabilization of the negative charge will be the highest here in this case. We are not considering these two cases why because these carbon ions are having instead of withdrawing or stabilizing groups but the donating groups that means increasing the steric repulsions so they have got high electron density so that is what the reason is not considering these options so what do i have over here most resonance stabilization will be here whenever we have got the minus i effect that means the most will be yes here we have got the answer that is CCl3 followed by the resonance stabilization that is obvious and here we have got the secondary carbon ion. The stability of carbon ions follows the order carbon ion stability is actually primary is more stable than secondary than tertiary. So that is how the stability order is opposite just to the carbon carbocations. So I hope you all are able to follow this. So here what do we have? CCl3 followed by the benzyl carbon ion, then the secondary one and finally the most unstable one that is the tertiary one. So I hope you all have got the right answer over here. Let us just mark the answer. So I hope you all are able to do the questions very well and able to apply the logics. You need to have all the kinds of effects that you have studied so far to apply onto the questions.